former Kentucky First Lady, one of the first female sports broadcasters and former Miss America, Phyllis George has passed away at 70 years old. Good evening, I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Thank you for joining us here on the night team. Family members say she died of a rare blood disease she'd been battling for more than five years. Since the news broke hours ago, many have taken to social media to remember a woman who broke glass ceiling after glass ceiling. Jesse Cohen tells us how the community is reacting to this news tonight. The word trailblazer certainly fits Phyllis George. I had a mission, and that mission was to promote anything handmade and help the craftspeople find new markets and open up a whole new world to people that didn't know about it. And as we say goodbye to the former First Lady of Kentucky, her close friends and loved ones, like Jerry Abramson, are reminding us of the many hats she wore that paved her legacy. You know, when I think of Phyllis George, I think of energy. When I think of Phyllis George, I think of charisma. Arts, crafts, films, she just had tremendous energy and tremendous commitment to make Kentucky seen in a positive way all over the United States. A born Texan, Phyllis adopted Kentucky through her former marriage. And before Bourbonism, she gave the bluegrass state its art and culture identity. More than a passion, it's like becoming total obsession. And like Terry McBrayer says, that spirit was truly contagious. Her smile. Her dimples, her personality. You know, it's just that smile. I mean, she had a magnificent smile. She walked into a room and just took control of the room. That spirit is something that I think we all should embody and she would love for us to embody. Her love for creative crafts was just the beginning of her long list of accomplishments. I have done so many things. If you read my resume, you'd think I was a 90-year-old woman. There's some. <laughs> she broke the mold and became one of the first female sportscasters on CBS's NFL Today. She put her neck on the line trying to do football broadcasting and it's a man's game is to be greatly commended for. She could just as easily talk about the game as she could put on her crown. Looking up to her and seeing this young girl who grew up and achieved her dream of becoming Miss America, she was such a force and an idol for me. Heather French Henry, who was crowned Miss America 2000, says she was the true model of a public servant. Above and beyond even just the crown and even the public notoriety certainly that she had is that she was always wanting to do something to make a difference. Businesswoman, actress, first lady, Miss America, sportscaster. Just a few of the hats this icon wore. She was able to do so much with what she was given and she never ever shied away from an opportunity. Phyllis George always saw the glass half full and the people around her felt that same way. And those lucky enough to have known her say she will forever be remembered as a magnificent force. Well, she's a very special lady, and we're a far better state having had her as first lady. For the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen. Following the news of Georgia's death, Governor Andy Beshear tweeted out tonight saying, in part, as the First Lady of the Commonwealth, she was beloved for her vision and oversight in renovating and renewing the state treasure. That's the governor's and her efforts to promote folk art in America.